Do you play all? I mean, do you actually play all these, or? Well, I play them and I cherish them. Mm -hmm. This is the top of the heat right here. There's no question about it. Look at the look at the flame on that one. Listen. How much is this? Just listen for a minute. I'm the not... sustain. Listen to it. I'm not hearing anything. You would though if it were playing because yeah. it really. It's famous for its sustain. I mean, you can yeah. just hold it. Well, I mean, so you don't have to pull. You can go, go and have a bite. No, you still yeah. be hearing that one. Yeah. Can you hold this a sec? Yeah, sure. Oh, this is special too, it's a... Look, see? Still got the, uh, the old tagger on it. See, never even played it. See? You just bought it. Don't touch it. I, well, don't touch I, I it. Wasn't gonna, I wasn't going to no touch one, it. No, don't touch it. I was it. just it's pointing a, at it. I... Well, don't point even. Don't it, even point? Be, no, it can't be played. Never. I mean, I, Can I look at it? No. No, you've seen Don't enough of that one. This is a top to a, you know, what we use on stage, but it's very, very special because if you can see, yeah, the numbers all go to eleven. Look, right across the board, oh. eleven, oh, I eleven, see. and most of eleven, these and then amps go up to ten. Exactly. Does that mean it's louder? Is it any louder? Well, it's one louder, isn't it? It's not ten. You see, most most blokes, you know, be playing at ten. You're on ten here, all the way up, all the way up, yeah. all the way up. You're on ten on your guitar. Where can you go from there? Where? I don't know. Nowhere. Exactly. What we do is, if we need that extra push over the cliff, you know what we do? I put it up to eleven. Eleven. Exactly. One louder. Why don't you just make ten louder and make ten be the top number and make that a little louder? These go to eleven. This is how the so-called loudness war is damaging the sound quality of modern CDs. First, I'll play an example of a track from 1989. Notice the clarity and punch of the drums. Since the two drum hits are already maximum volume, if we want the track louder on the recording, we have to take the quieter bits and turn them up. If this track had been released in 2006, someone would probably have insisted that it be this loud. Now it sounds much louder, and in the short term, louder can seem better. But you own the volume knob, not the record producer. So you adjust your volume to find your preferred level. Here we have the same volume as the original. Unfortunately, the loudness treatment permanently changes the sound. Do you notice what's missing? The red sections mark where the punch and clarity would have been. Let's hear what that maximized track sounds like at regular listening volume. Wimpy loud sound. All the punch of the drums is gone, along with much of the feel of the music that comes from some parts being louder than others. When there's no quiet, there can be no loud. The original makes you turn up your volume, and when you do, it sounds great. Mm -hmm. 